Hey everybody, Shane here at The Real Milk Paint Company and I am really excited to show you this month's Mix It Monday color. We're gonna be creating a really nice deep green and I'll show you how to make that with these colors. So, let's get to mixing. This color is created using three different Real Milk Paint colors. The first one is Lily Pad, the next one is Aqua, and the other one is Arabian Night. We're gonna be doing two Lily Pad, one Aqua, and one Arabian Night. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're gonna get two of the lily pad here. Put that in. And this is, I'm using a teaspoon measurement, excuse me, half a tablespoon measurement, but really whatever measurement you use as long as the ratios are correct. So it's two of the lily pad, one of the aqua, which is a nice bright blue. and then one of the Arabian Night. And then we'll add an equal amount of water into this ratio. So that's four scoops from this little thing. So we'll do that right now. So one, two, and I'm gonna hold off on three because I got a little pour over and I'd rather mix less water into here and add it later if I need to than adding too much water. So, here we start to mix. The way I like to describe mixing the milk paint, it's a lot like pancake batter. Pour the powder in, pour the right amount of water in, back into it and start mixing. And you're kind of looking for a, um, almost like a heavy cream sort of consistency with the milk paint. Um, it's, uh, or like a, a melted milkshake is another one. Um, Another pro tip I give people is to use distilled water. Actually, that's what I'm using now. Uh, you can use tap water and there's nothing wrong with that. I do that often. I just tend to find that sometimes if you have particularly hard uh, water, it can hinder the milk paint from mixing as well. All right, I'm thinking this is looking pretty good here. I don't, it's hard to show on camera, but it's kind of got a nice velvety consistency. It's not too too thick or too thin, um, but we'll give it a go here. So let's uh, let's paint this stick and let you see the color when it goes on wet. Alrighty. There we go. Look at that. This is just one dip of the brush in there, and you can see how much it's covering. And milk paint tends to cover better as it dries, meaning that it might look a little thinner when you first apply it than once it's dried. So there you go. All right, this is the color when it is dry, or wet, excuse me, this color when it's wet. And this is one that's gonna turn up like when it dries. It actually gets a little bit darker. You can see it over here. What color do you think you would call this? Let us know in the comments and I'm um, looking forward to seeing what creative ideas you have. Have a great one. 